congratulations. Thank Give you, sir. Your, uh, you've had a few minutes to think about it and uh, deconstruct it. How do you feel about the fight? I feel good. I got caught early. Um, definitely made me a little gun shy going in there. I was going in there with the utmost confidence in my stand up and my movement, and my striking, and I knew exactly what I was going to do in terms of what way I was going to move. I got tagged once pretty hard by Eddie, and uh, all that went out the window. You know, I was hopefully, or I'm sorry, luckily able to recollect myself pretty quickly, but uh, man's no joke. You know, he's obviously a legend of the sport, um, most knockouts in the bantamweight history for the UFC, you know, so that speaks for itself. Yeah, I was going to ask you, it did look like the first couple of minutes were going his way. He seemed to tag you with that, the, 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 the big right hand a couple of times. How hurt were you? Was it just a case of slowing down, recollecting yourself, or were you nearly out of there? How hurt were you? Yeah, absolutely. It was just a case of, you know, just kind of wanted to recollect myself and kind of gauge his timing. Um, to be honest, I was going to take the rest of that round and move a little bit, uh, feel him out a little bit more. I, I kind of didn't anticipate him correctly right away. That's why I got tagged, and um, I was going to take the rest of that round, but I landed that one clean shot, and I saw out of my peripherals that he was wobbled, so I just pounced on it and got the finish. You mentioned yourself that he's a legend of the sport. Is this the biggest win for you in your career? Hands down, absolutely. I mean, it's on, not only on the biggest promotion that I've ever gotten a win on the UFC, but he's the most well-known guy I've ever fought, um, and I truly think, you know, I was watching him growing up in high school and college, and, you know, it's crazy to to be watching someone dominate the sport and then now you're fighting him and let alone I beat him, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's a very good feeling. It's a little bit surreal. <clears throat> Absolutely, 100% surreal. Like yes, when sir. you get in there and you just see his face, you're like, oh, that's him. Right, exactly. You know what they say, what's that? There's like a saying, you know, uh, keep working hard until your, your idols become your rivals or something like that, right? Yeah. So. Are you, uh, you're unbeaten in Las Vegas, are you? I'm sorry? Are you unbeaten in Las Vegas? I am, I'm 4-0 in Las Vegas, yes, sir. So is this like your home for fighting? This is my home, this is the fight capital of the world, absolutely. Congrats, man. Thank you so much. I know the last time that we, we saw you, you, uh, you lost that, that, that bout to Wood, but back in 2017, you, you had a touch with the UFC, with the Contender Series back then. Ever since then, I mean, you had some great fights after that, but did you always know that eventually this day would come where you were here with the UFC getting victories, getting your hand raised, and putting on <clears throat> spectacular performances like that? You know, yeah, I, I mean, I always, I always knew I was ready for this, especially back then when I got onto the Contender Series. You know, at that time, I, I was on a nine-fight win streak. That was my 10th fight, my 10th win in a row. Um, I got injured three weeks before that fight, so I was a little, you know, that performance wasn't the greatest by any means, and I didn't get signed. But, um, I mean, that didn't really stop me. It did a little bit, you know, kind of slow me down a little bit. I was like, man, maybe I questioned myself, I guess you could say, but I always knew that I would make myself my, my way back here, absolutely. And I know you said that you faced some adversity at the beginning of the round, but once you heard him, how quickly does that go out the window and how excited? Because you had super fast hands uh, yeah. when it came time because Eddie was kind of, you know, arguing, saying that it was, you know, you know it was maybe that it was a, a quick call, but you could tell by his face that he was really, really hurt and you had a pretty quick barrage. But when that happens, when you hurt him, what's the immediate thought and that, that comes through your head after you see that you hurt Eddie Wineland? Oh, we just, I, I pounced on him right away. And, you know, we, we actually, we trained that at the Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, you know, under my coach, Greg Nelson, you know, we, we, we simulate, you know, hurting someone and then pouncing on him right away, you know. So we'll, I have the, the training for that specific moment. And I actually, you know, I, I slipped over to the right hand and, or I'm sorry, to the right side and came back to the left with my straight right. And I saw out of my peripherals, his, his feet kind of just gave a little bit of a wobble. And I was like, let's go. And at that point, I wasn't worried about his hands at all. You know, I was willing to eat whatever strike he was willing to give me because I knew he was hurt. I knew that I was going to be, it was something that I could finish right then and there. And that's exactly what I did. So looking ahead to the rest of this year, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself um, by the end of the year? How many fights and are there any names that make sense for you? No, no, no names just yet. You know, I gotta, I think I gotta earn that, you know, a couple more wins in here and maybe I'll start calling some people up, but um, not just yet. I just want to get, I want to stay busy. You know, I, that was my first win. It feels good. I'm healthy. Um, I put in some serious work this last camp. So, you know, I just want to, Instead of degress, just kind of stay at this level right now, stay in shape, and you know, hopefully get a fight here real soon. You go straight back into the gym, or you take a little time to, to celebrate this? Usually, usually I take a little bit of time, but I'm, like I said, I'm not injured. I, uh, I got a little sore, sore knuckle, but that's it. You know, I'm, I'm right back in there Monday morning. Congrats on the win. Thank you so much. Felicidades, man, en el triunfo hoy. Muchas gracias, amigo. Si puedes explicarnos un poquito en español, claro, cómo se siente triunfar contra una leyenda 
cuando se, cuando se cierra la puerta del octágono. Sí, como le estaba diciendo a ellos, se, se, se sienta, no, no me imaginé de ese sentimiento, como no se puede explicar. Nunca en toda mi vida me ha sentido así, especialmente antes de la pelea, como me estaba diciendo así solo, hablándome a mí solo en mi cuarto, como esto es real, como apenas me voy a meter al octógono con, con una leyenda del deporte y le voy a ganar y eso es lo que pasó. So, se siente como ni, ni se puede explicar, la verdad. De acuerdo, felicidades. <coughs> ¿Cuándo viste la oportunidad de conectar con esa derecha recta y luego esa combinación? Parece que conectaste con como siete golpes y estaba retrocediendo en, en línea recta. Explícanos, por favor, cómo lo pudiste finalizar. Lo, lo, luego, de, cuando empezó la pelea, la primera ronda, se, se notó que sus manos estaban poquitas bajas y estaba tratando de, de encontrar mi movimiento perfecto, pero lo, luego en el primer minuto me, sí me conectó con una mano derecha de, de él y uh, no estaba como muy, muy así como, uh, uh, como se dice, no estaba como muy uh, confundido o nada así, pero quería, no quería que me, que, me golpeaba, que me golpeaba más o quería moverme más el resto de la ronda y lo más era una, una cross, una, una mano derecha que le conectó en la cabeza y luego, luego ahí noté que se movió un poquito como que se... Que le, que le dolió y ahí pues me di la combinación que le di y es, ahí era la, el fin de la pelea. Bueno, hecho bien, felicidades y que padre que te mantienes en Victo aquí en, en Las Vegas. Muchas gracias, amigo.